Flummery is a starch-based, sweet, soft dessert pudding known to have been popular in Britain and Ireland from the 17th to 19th centuries. The word has also been used for other semi-set desserts. History and etymology The name is first known in Gervis Markham's 1623 Country Contentments, or English Huswife New Ed. v. 222. From this small oat meal, by oft steeping it in water and cleansing it, and then boiling it to a thick and stiff jelly, is made that excellent dish of meat which is so esteemed in the west parts of this kingdom, which they call wash brew, and in Cheshire and Lancashire they call it flamery or flumery. The name is derived from the Welsh word for a similar dish made from sour oatmeal and husks, lumery, which is of unknown origin. It is also attested in variant forms such as the lumery or flamery in 17th and 18th century English. The word, flummery, later came to have generally pejorative connotations of a bland, empty, and unsatisfying food. From this use, flummery developed the meaning of empty compliments, unsubstantial talk or writing, and nonsense. A pint of flummery was suggested as an alternative to 4 ounces, 110 grams of bread and a 0.5 imperial pints, 0.28 L of new milk for the supper of sick inmates in Irish workhouses in the 1840s. Topic: <laughs> Australian flummery In Australia, post-World War II, flummery was the name given to a different foodstuff, a mousse dessert made with beaten evaporated milk, sugar, and gelatin. Also made using jelly crystals, mousse flummery became established as an inexpensive alternative to traditional cream-based mousse in Australia. In Longreach, it was a staple food in the 1970s and in Forbes, it was a fall-back dessert in the 1950s. The American writer Bill Bryson described flummery as an early form of the blancmange dessert known in the United States. <laughs> 